Perfume Haul Unboxing with Fierce Hi guys, welcome in. Sorry ka. Mabuhay and you are all back with me Fierce So here is a late upload of my Black Friday perfume haul and I hope you like it. This is one of the many perfume videos that I will be showing on my channel. Oops, just a quick rundown of the jewelry that we're wearing right now for all of my jewelry lovers right there. Um, this headline was from Claire's Belgium. Earrings is rose gold or um, Pandora rose. And then um, my reusable stack, I have this Swarovski. And then um, a ring from my AliExpress Best rings in aliexpress haul which you can see you can go ahead and check out on my youtube channel as well i got my longine vintage watch and another swarovski bracelet that i am going to share to you on a video and i will show you close-ups all right so let's go ahead and get started so the first one i'm going to put my drum alone right here for now and um yes let's get started with this item that i have from sephora which is oops it's, it's the back doll it's this one and this is called the Kat Von D love like a saint fragrance lipstick gift set and it looks like this one so this is 50 ml and um, that is the full size of the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in Berlin okay this is what the back of the box looks like and of course i'm going to show you some close-up of this one and i'm going to give you my first impressions oh my goodness it's super dark outside it's so gray so if my video is not the clearest of them all it's because i love to film natural light but it's winter time in sweden it's full of darkness so sorry about that <laughs> all right guys so i'm here to go ahead and show you the close-up of this too and um the truth is this is actually a different day when i did the intro and the outro this is another day because your mama got so busy but i'm gonna start with the cat von d that i got from sephora here in sweden it's right here they even um gave me also this sample Okay, and it's a HYA or acid hyaluronic. Oh yeah, hyaluronic acid. All day hydrator or hydrate plus glow in one ml. Okay, I'm gonna try that. But this is the main event. Here you go. It's a very nice packaging right here and um, you could see two items. One is the 50 ml or one fluid ounce of fragrance, um, which is the Love Like a Saint and um, the Liquid Lipstick Rouge, which is, let's see the back side. So Scott Von D, there are two sides in all of us. Which one will you choose? And different languages okay it's Berlin so everlasting liquid lipstick in Berlin and of course the Saint Eau de Parfum okay this is the bottom of the box to so the barcode and other information and the side this is very nice design and the top has the logo Kat Von D okay that is still taped and due to my crazy long nails, let's try down here instead. Okay. All right. So I tried this on the store several times before I finally gave into it and bought it. And um, since I bought this in Black Friday, this is in a very good discount. Is that 25% off? Which is a lot better price than if I just buy just the perfume alone and this has two items in here and let's just go ahead and appreciate this bottle oh my goodness it's 3d with this skulls and with this awesome design I love it look at that you could really feel it it's really nice and then uh, we have the Kat Von D logo just right here. 
underneath this skull it's really it's so beautiful and then on the top another Kat Von D logo just right there at the bottom we can see the perform saint the code and yes okay so I, I if I remember correctly it's a little difficult to open this which is good for for new bottles I like it um a little tight than loose because I all, um, sometimes I pick them up by the head which is not good for the just a good tour ones but yeah yeah so that is a good one okay let's check the spray okay so that smells really nice and girly so I can really pick up fruity scents on this one right away but I'm going to give you a brief information about it so Kat Von D have released this one before I'm not just certain on what particular year was the first one but I saw it on um, the candy show or it's candy show uh, she she have this perfume and this is already reformulated but this is re relaunched on 2017 and this is called an oriental floral fragrance for women the top notes for this are clary sage and mirabelle middle notes are jasmine almond blossom and lily of the valley and the base notes are vanilla cedar peach and musk so that's all about this perfume and of course I'm gonna give you a review next time once I was able to really get to use it in a few hours or much better in a couple of weeks. Alright, so this next item is from Jo Malone. It's my first one from Jo Malone. Jumping on or joining the band wagon. And yeah, so I chose this one and I have two choices so the orange one which is limited edition for holiday 2019 and this one because they said that for two years in a row this is their best selling product and has won awards already I like the packaging of the Joe Malone and they put it in this very big one okay so it's like so and so it has this black paper bag that actually I think they sprayed something on it here because it smells so nice yeah and I like how it's packaged right there so I have my receipt of course right beside it and then the Joe Malone box so I am going to share to you a nice unboxing experience close up of this Joe Malone and let's take a moment to appreciate this box oh my goodness look at that um this off-white or not really off-white but like a, a yellowish creamy-ish bow in there okay that's nice mostly popular in the philippines but i really like how they package it it's on this um big paper bag as you see and um they packed it really well this was tight and um so they have this what do you call this type of paper? I forgot, but it's in black. Okay, and then it's packaged very nicely right here. Okay, so there you go. So nice and elegant. Okay. I didn't want to destroy the bow. <laughs> I know that you have just to pull this and uh, look out, but I wanted to do a shortcut and do like this so I could still keep the bow as beautiful as it is, like that. And then, yeah, so that's the box. Very nice color, just black at the bottom, like so. And let's go ahead and open this. And there it is. So this is the Jo Malone London Honeysuckle and Divina Cologne. So the reason why I chose this over the holiday limited edition, which is the orange, um, something with the orange, 
is because <laughs> they said that for two years now this is the best seller for Jo Malone and since this is my first one I was like hmm let me go with something that a lot of people have trusted and um, tried and tested although I usually most of the time wanted to be unique and um, wanted to go for something that is my own taste. This is how it looks at the back. Tremel in London, ingredients and stuff like that. So this one is a 3.4 fluid ounce or the 100 ml. And Jomolo limited distribution, London, England. Made in England is what it says right there. So I like this classy uh, minimalist uh, bottle. Very nice glass, nothing at the bottom. And um, just a silver colored uh, metal cap. Oops, <laughs> have to be very careful with this one. And focus. So that's how it looks. Oh my goodness, straight out of the cap. I can smell how good this is. Oh my goodness, this is so yummy. Okay, let me go ahead and spray right here. This smells so heavenly. So it says that it's a floral fragrance for women. And um, this was launched in 2018. Oh, okay. The nose behind this fragrance is Anne Flippo. The top notes, of course, it's Devana. Middle notes are Rose and Honeysuckle. And the base notes, or base notes, it's moss. Aha, uh -huh. so we have about four notes on this one. I love it. Okay, um, hmm. I think it's a year round type of scent. Well, that's what I will always say. Um, it's pretty mild, uh, considering that it's, um, it's a cologne. And I think that it could also be a unisex one. This doesn't really scream like, hey, I'm only a ladies um, cologne. But yeah, leaning towards more of the colognes. That's my first impression on this one. And uh, mostly, let me sniff again. Mostly white floral on this. Uh, I think it could be also best for the springtime when all of the flowers are just about to bloom a little bit of the summer also but i i will wear it now in winter <laughs> yeah it's um, mostly a daytime type of cologne i don't think that this is something that you would prefer um wearing at night unless it's the one that you wanted to wear in in bed and uh yeah i am like that type of person i spray perfume or cologne or fragrance in general when i go to bed so yeah and that's my first impressions and thoughts on this two perfumes so the jo malone and the uh, kat von d love like a saint and i'm very impressed about this packaging of jo malone i like this one it's really nice and it looks so fancy really nice if you put it on um like a, your dresser and stuff like that so um we just have to make sure that we store the perfumes properly so they don't go bad and they could last longer don't uh, put it on a um direct or a place where it's could be hit by direct sunlight or moist areas like the shower or the bathroom so yeah i love 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 this one something so new on my collection and that's it for today so these are my two hauls actually i'm gonna tell you a story about this one before i forget or this too um so I was new in a job for Casino Cosmopol, which is the only casino in Sweden and we only have four casinos in the country. So I live in Gothenburg and um, this is this is where my first salary um, when I was uh, training as a dealer, poker dealer, uh, which is Texas Hold'em and yeah, this will remind me 
of um, yeah my first salary from Casino Cosmopol and um, all the fun memories from the dealer one so I have this uh, not super serious which is fruity right here and something that's really I think this is more of like a formal mature woman I mean at least for me though and then this is like a more Mm, the cutesy side of me so we have two sides right here and yes i will be wearing them at work of course also and yeah there you have it so let's continue the conversation on the comments down below let me know if you have the same perfumes what do you think about it and any other perfumes that you recommend for me to get and i will have more videos like this don't forget to check out all my other videos the dng and um, the coach one, Juicy Couture will be coming up soon. And also my a video from last year, which I uploaded this year, which is my like top 10 favorite perfumes when I only have 10 that time. <laughs> yes, but I'm very honest with you guys. All of these are bought um, with my own money. And um, I'm going to create more memories of this one. And see you on my next video. Hope you like it and give me a thumbs up. Remember to stay fierce and fly high.